Uh, hello everybody, I'm just doing my video for Etsy. This is the new kit I brought out. Yes, it was a challenge actually. Um, yeah, but I, I enjoyed it in the end. It was a challenge to get something how I wanted it to look. You know, with bugs, it's not my best subject. We all love flowers, but <laughs> I actually like making things with bugs. But um, I didn't add too many butterflies because I thought I've got so many butterfly kits out there that, you know, you can add a bit to that if you wanted. I think I've got one butterfly, I think. Um, so these are the main pages. Yeah, I've done, um, I've used, a, yeah, oh, this one. I mean, I've used that in other things, but I love it so much. And it went so well with this page, I used it. But you might see this in some of my other kits somewhere along the line but I, I really love this so that's the one I printed this on really thin paper actually I've had the wrong printer in the wrong paper in the printer that was my like 60 GSM one really lightweight for invoices and things like that and that's that one there and that was another one I'm not sure whether I've used that one but you know that's from the book this, this book's out there with with just those in but I like incorporating it with my work rather than just do a, a kit with just the pages even though I love it What's that? and I've got backgrounds that match these sort of things so I had a lot of fun in the end I didn't know when to stop I think there's 19 pages but then I've added a little bonus, so that's that one there. And then this is just, I mean, there's butterflies there, but I just thought that page went really well with the colour, with the tone and everything. So I just added a lot of, you know, the collage pieces there that you can add to on that one. But I liked that. So I like to add those. And this is sort of more sort of grungy style. But again, it, it, it sort of like goes because, you know, we don't need everything bright. Sometimes we need these sort of duller pages. And again, I just um, used a transparency and, and sort of like, again, made it even lighter for a little bit of a background that might come in handy for different projects. These ones are to be folded in half. Um, I haven't done them full size but they are to be smaller and you could put these back to back a very similar size as there or some like they could actually be cut down a little bit and you could use them as sort of the for the pockets and things you know big German tags again that's a smaller size one and I love that actually I had a horrible face here so I took that out I know that's wrong but I, I actually didn't like seeing that face in there I don't know why it's a bit creepy so I took it out <laughs> sorry artist <laughs> from whatever century um, right this is just loads of bugs on top of some paper but you know it's a background it's a bit of fun uh, there's another background. These I really like these ones actually. Love these marble. And this sort of like one that's a little bit faded. Yeah, but it is the same. But I just added a little bit of something to that one and faded a lot out. And that's the marble paper, which I love. I really love this. Absolutely beautiful. And and I've included a sort of cover. Now I can only print I can't print full scat on my laser, but I can on my inkjet. But I've incorporated some of the papers that are slightly smaller. So if you wanted this to be, I mean you could cut that up, put that on, and then that could be the spine for a journal. Do you know what I mean? You could use it all, but you know, cut it down and use it on your cover. You know, there's ways around it. I just, I incorporated that because I really liked it. And I did add a little bit more in the middle because it was a bit narrow. So, because I wanted a 
thicker spine. And then I've added this as a bonus. These are 8 by 10. Okay, so it just makes that smaller journal. So it makes a 5, 8 by 5. Yeah, which I just thought I'd add those. And it's only the these pages that, you know, they've got the elements on. Because all the backing papers, they can be cut down. I think there's one that didn't work, so. And that one there, that's not in a big one, but that's so lovely. I had to put that in, so I thought, yeah, that's going to, I think that'll make a nice journal. And I think that's how I'm going to make my journal, so with this one. I'm going to cut this down and do it that way, rather than the full-size one, just for a change. Yeah, so I added the smaller pages as a bonus, not, you know, that's those. And this is the add-on. And again, this is massive as well. This is 19 pages. Okay. That's some journaling cards there. Like I say, I've added some sort of these sort as well. I've really enjoyed doing this. I hope I'm in frame because it's, it's quiet. Let's come out a bit. There we go. There's a few pairs. Sorry, it's not all in order, if you know what I mean. There's a couple of pages like this. That one, there's some sort of pockets and a postcard down there. I've done them smaller because I just think if they become um, pockets, you know, in your journal, you need them slightly smaller. I'm usually doing them quite big and they um, don't, they're too big to go across. Uh, some more pockets. I just added that because it was a little, you know, little ticket thing just to fill in. Another postcard there. This is like a coin envelope. And I've ordered a page, uh, ordered, I've added a page of the cigarette cards these are. I've taken the cigarette off at the front, but I've, you know, you can't take it off the back. But I thought, well, you can either use the back or, or not, which I quite like it because it does tell you about it. So, I can always cover the cigarette bit. <laughs> That's more, these are like original, um, you know, ephemera cards that I've just put down. I did add a border on some that was very f pale that you could hardly see to cut up. So I've ordered a, added a border to them, but these are as is. It's just another bonus, really. And that's my tags that I made from the kit. And I made some of these journaling cards. This one was, I've taken a photo frame and used that. And I thought, oh, yeah, that looks good. And these I've had as a freebie, I think, somewhere. It's on my website and the Facebook group. These, a page of these. I had that a couple of years ago. I've done that. And then I put them on because I thought that would look nice in the front of the journal. So. And then these are all just bits and pieces. Some photo cards there that are done. These are just little bits that are taken from specimen cards and things like that okay and then some faux stamps and then smaller because i thought those could be used you know for a bigger embellishment than those smaller and just that just filled in with some bits that come in handy there's some tickets and page tabs that's more journaling cards there More tags. I think there's three pages of tags. I think. And then I've added this just for a, a sort of um, plainy sort of thing that you can most probably punch holes in and make your own specimen cards i mean again i've got this in another kit similar but this is the outline this one i thought well you could make so i will make something from this that one. 
a German card and bugs and things on. And three envelopes. Yeah, very fine paper this. There's that one. That one. That one. And then this is it printed onto acetate, but you do not need to print it onto acetate. Make sure if you've got an inkjet, you use printable acetate. Or else it doesn't doesn't dry. Okay, it's got a it's got a different surface on the back, and you put that you print on that side, and then the ink grabs hold of that. But it's out there. It's for inkjet. Just type it in Google. Printable inkjet acetate or transparencies because this is a transparency, nice and thin. So brilliant. But that's it printed onto paper, which you could still punch out and do things with. Okay, well, that's it. Well, I hope you like it. Um, yeah, it took me a while to do, but I got there, like I said, I got there in the end, and I'm definitely making a journal out of it because I've made those specimen cards had bug cards then i but I, mm, i'm not sure what i think that might be a project for after christmas i don't know i've got to get uh, my autumn journal done and then I'm, i want to make a little halloween journal but it's just going to be a small sort of folio type one because i'm following a design by marley designs she's um one of the Tim Holtz makers, and I really liked it, so I'll be sort of following that a little bit, which I will post all that in the links and everything when I do it. But I must get on with my autumn journal and finish that off, and then Christmas <laughs> as well. So, but I'm really drawn to bugs at the moment, that's why I had to make the specimen cards. So, I mean, these I don't know where they where you see the video, these ones, but these ones, this one, I'm gonna put in my um autumn journal i've got let's see if i got one with a bug in there we go that's one with a bug in yeah okay right then well thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you all soon Bye bye